Thank you, Tafadhali Tuketi. <coughs> Familia ya marehemu Mzee Philip Kipsigei Langat, akiwemo Senator wetu wa hapa Bomet, kanisa waheshimiwa mawaziri waheshimiwa maseneta waheshimiwa wabunge waheshimiwa MCAs majirani marafiki na familia na wale wote wamefika God is good another time nisadimieni kwa hewa bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe tena asante sana nimefika hapa nimetumwa na kiongozi wetu rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya Daktari William Samoe Ruto kumwakilisha katika hafla hii na kuja kuleta rabirabi zake kwa familia ya huyu mzee wetu ambaye amepumzika Rais alitaka kufika lakini shughuli za kikazi zimemzidia hata naomba rath tu naomba msamaha tumechelewa tulikuwa katika mkutano wa baraza la mawaziri kutoka asubuhi mpaka karibu saa saba kwa mikakati ya kupanga kazi ya serikali na rais akanituma na pole zake na akaniambia nifike hapa na nitasoma risala yake kwa familia pia mimi kwa niaba yangu na familia yangu nataka niseme pole kwa hii familia tumesoma historia huyu mzee na tumevutiwa sana na vile alisomesha watoto wake ile kasi amefanya kwa KCC kama mfanyabiashara kama mkristo wa mstari ya mbele na kazi yake tunaiona kwa huyu seneta wetu kwa hivyo familia nataka niseme pole tunaombea nyinyi Mwenyezi Mungu amfariji ampatie nguvu ya kukubali sio kitu rahisi kuachwa na mzee mwenye boma lakini Mwenyezi Mungu atakuwa nanyi na nataka nishukuru wale wote ambaye walipata nafasi ya kufika hapa kusaidiana na familia hii pia tuseme asante kwa kanisa kwa kazi nzuri ya kuwaombea na kuendesha zile programu ambazo zimekuwa zikiendelea. Kwa hivyo senator and your family please take heart. The president has sent his most sincere condolences for God to grant you fortitude and give you peace and strength to bear the loss. Tunaomba watoto wa huyu mzee washikilie hili boma ndio wadumishe heshima ya huyu mzee na sana sana kumchunga mama na kukaa karibu na yeye na kupata nafasi ya kumtembelea kila wakati juu ya hayo niseme kwa sababu nimefika hapa watu wa Bomet nyinyi ni watu wetu you are our people na rais na mimi tuko na shukurani mingi sana kwa vile mlituombea alafu mkatupatia kura mia kwa mia tukapata nafasi ya uongozi ningetaka nichukue nafasi hii niseme asanti hasa mimi nataka niseme asanti kwa watu ya Bomet mnajua mimi nilikuwa kwa kaona mbaya sana nilikuwa nimesukumwa saidi kura yenu ndiyo iliniokoa. Eh. Wale jamaa walikuwa wamepaka kunifunga jela. Mwaka hamsini nikufia huko. Nyinyi mkaniokoa nataka niseme asante. Na watu ya Bomet, rais na mimi hapana wajinga. We are not fools. Sisi ni watu tumechanuka. Mnafikiria mnaweza kutupatia hizo kura zote mtupatie nafasi ya uongozi alafu sisi tucheze na mambo yenu. Hatuwezi chesa na mambo yenu. Bila tutafanya ni kunyamaza. 
sababu tukiongea sana hii watu ya TV wanatufuata kila pahali wanatuanika mambo yenu tumepanga na tumepanga vizuri tumepanga vizuri hatutaki kuanika sana unajua hii Kenya vile na kasa hii keki ni kidogo na inatakana na kila mtu sasa ukitangaza ile kipande naenda pande hii pande ile imekosa sana kelele naanza kwanza mimi unajua mimi msimamo yangu si mnajua yangu msimamo si mnajua si mnajua msimamo yangu keki kikatwa wale wanatakiwa kupata kwanza sasa siku hizi nimenyamaza mimi nakata tu nimenyamaza sababu so, wananipigia makelele hao viongozi walikuja tuliketi kwa kirefu governor mp senator tumekubaliana na mimi nitakuja hapa siku tatu nikukaa hapa nitalala hapa nitakula hapa nitatembea hapa unless kukosekana chakula ndio nirudi kwa mama chagua lakini kama iko chakula iko maziwa mimi nitakaa area hii for three days na tunakuja kupanga mambo yetu mchana na ile mingi usiku ile mingi tutapanga usiku so tutakuwa na mikutano na watu ya kanisa viongozi usiku usiku asubuhi tupange maneno yenu nimalizane naye nirudi kwa mkubwa tuketi tukubaliane and watu ya bomet the time for the transformation of this county is now ni wakati hii sababu so, serikali iko ni yenu rais ni wenu deputy ni wenu viongozi ni wenu wenye kukula keki wako wenye kukata keki ni watu wenu what is the problem kuna shida mbona tu msi chemuke sana twende pole pole na mimi nataka kuambia nyinyi siasa yenu mimi naipenda sana watu nasema siasa ya bometi ni kali inatakiwa ikuwe kali nyinyi na mimi ni kitu kimoja damu yangu na nyinyi na chemuka haraka na inakuanga mzuri because mkikosa kuuliza inaweza kosekana lakini sasa zile tumepata sasa tutulie tutulie mimi nitakuja na hao mawaziri tutapanga na mimi naomba tafadhali nyumba yetu ya Kenya kwanza tuache kuonekana mbele ya magazeti na ma TV na mambo ambayo haitakikani juzi mlikuwa hapo sotiki mnapigia waziri wa stima kelele na ni mtoto wenu hapa sasa stima endi yako pale ni mtoto ya nyumbani si ati hajui ni nini anafanya lakini akienda kutangaza si atapigwa sasa wacha tukuje na yeye hapa tupange iko 1 billion tutembee tukubaliane hapo stima hapo 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 pole 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 huyu kipchumba mkome ni mtoto wenu ndio anasimamia mambo ya barabara takuja na yeye hapa tupange and all these things tutapanga pole pole na mjue nyinyi ni watu wetu so you should not have a worry ya kwamba kuna kitu inaweza haribika na mimi nataka kuomba nyinyi watu ya hapa Rift Valley na wale watu ya kule kwetu mlima Kenya wacha tuache kupigania makelele mbele ya raia wabunge wanapigia mawaziri kelele mawaziri napigia wabunge we are one government sisi ni watoto wa mzee moja anaitwa William Samoe Ruto we are one family and a one father let us be measured in our relationship because we are serving the same people and a one president au mawaziri wametauliwa na William Ruto mkiwapigia kelele ati wame fail ni rais mnapigia kelele kwa sababu ndio amewateua when you say they are useless they are incompetent you are actually challenging the appointing authority let us be careful again ministers also tutakuwa na heshima na hao watu ambao wamechaguliwa na raia because pia watasukuma maneno kwa niaba ya raia kwa sababu nao raia inawasukuma let us look for a formula of how to stay and stay properly na mimi najua mambo itakuwa sawa sawa 
Tumekubaliana wati ya bometi ni kuja siku tatu. Ya. Nangoja tu. Rais tumeaza kusunguka na hee. Akichomoka tu wakienda ngapo na mimi ni kuja ya bometi. Sindio. Mina angalia ile siku wanachomoka siku tatu. Nikiufikisha ya poti na mimi na kuja pande hii. Tunaketi na nyinyi hapa. Munataka ni kuja tukai na nyinyi hapa? Tutaka hapa na tutakubaliana mabu mingi. Many things will agree. Sitaki ni seme mamu bele ya hii watu ya makamera. Watatagazia dunia nzima alafu yu maneno itakwama. Ama munataka tutangaze? Waso wacha ni kuje. Wacha ni kuje pole pole. Na rais tumekubaliana. One, two, three. You will be happy. You will be okay. And, uh, and uh, I have said again, the president and I are not stupid. Atu kepata hii kazi kama zinu wajinga. Kuna kitu tunajua. Mimi sijui sana. Mimi si mwerevu sana lakini si mwajinga. Niko tu hapo 50% hapo nusu. I know something. And one of the things I know is that the Bomet people are my people. That I know. Eh, hiyo ninajua. La ninajua what needs to happen to your people. So, hata hii hapa chepalungu tunajua tuko na shida ya flooding nini. Mukome nako hapa tutaketi tuangaria affirmative action. Ya hii shida ya barabara hiko hapa. All these things will agree. Because we are one family and we'll talk as a family. Kuna wale wanajaribu kutupigia makelele, which is okay. Before Raiza chukue, fertilizer was 7,000. Today, fertilizer ni 2,500. Tumefaulu watu jafaulu. Tang, kabla tukuje, akina mama wale wa 70 and above, walikuwa na kama mwezi kumi, mwezi kumi na sita, hawaja pati wa marupurupu yao. Tangu tukuje, huyu Florida za mepanga, wamepewa marupurupu yao, kila mwezi wanapata before 30th. Tunaendelea. Walimu, hatukuwa na awa, tumeajiri walimu 56,000. Tunaendelea. Wale ya mama wamefika 70 waku wamesajiliwa since 2017, tumesajili hao. Ikifika mwezi ya tatu, watapata mambo yao. Nidiona juzi hapa chepanungu, kijana mwingine alifukuso huko nande, amekuja hapa kwa mazishi, anataka kusomea serikali, muna piga makofi. Na nisawa. Lakini, hakuna mutu ya kumulisa wewe, ulikuwa kwa hile serikali ya handshake. Fertilizer ilikuwa 7,000. Sasa ni 2,500. Bona siku hiyo ugo unaongea. Sasa diyo ugo na mudomo murefu. Hakuna muti ya kulisa ye. Eh? Haulizwe siku ilikuwa kwa hile serikali ya handshake. Barabara zote sa bomet na kirishu. Silisimamishu na serikali ya handshake. Kwa sababu ya ya muruto na weo ulikuwa pale ulikuwa pande hile. Mume saa umunaaza kumpigia makofi. Wati ya bomet. Why you should have asked that former MP? He was in that government. Ya Raila na Uhuru. Sa hile watu ya Rift Valley wali umizwa kwa sababu ya kuunga William Ruto Mkono. He was part of that government. Na alikuwa nasema William Ruto ni muizi. Hawezi chagulewa. Hawa wakali ya jini waki umizwa na hiyo serikali, he was part of it. Hamekuja hapa mazishi, anaongea mambo, munapiga makofi. Wabunge wetu wako pale wamenyamaza. Wabunge mume nyamaza. You must answer these fellows. And you must remind them that history is important. Mkubwa yao ya azimio Raila di alisema historia ni important. Muambia historia is important. Wewe you are part of that government. Ambaye li nyanyaza hawa kale. At that time you are not speaking. Ulikuwa na kutukana William Ruto. Sasa umekuja hapa unajifanya atuedi unajua zaidi. Na huambii wanainchi. Why the president is having challenges. Ni hile madeni alikuta imechukuliwa na wale watu. Na hii madeni lazima alipe. Na shida ya Kenya si ya ti raisa meshidu wa kupanga kazi. No. Amekuta madeni ya 9.8 trillion. Katika shilingi kumi hile president anaokota. Shilingi saba ni ya kuliba madeni. Shilingi tatu ni ya kuliba mishahara na barabara na maji. Raisa na pindua. Dio shiringi tatu ilipe madeni, shiringi saba ikuja ifanya maendeleo. And we are making progress. I want to ask the people of Bomet, the people of South Rift, the first people to be on the line of defense, your president, because he is your creation. That is your government. 
Hamwezi pigia mawe ile mtu serikali bomechagua that is your leader. Nyinyi ndio mliamuka mkamweka kwa kiti. Amefika pale amekuta nchi imekwisha. Hii Kenya karibu ipigiwe kengele. Sasa amelipa madeni tumerudi kwa laini. Mambo imeanza kuenda vizuri. Bolea dio hiyo 2500. Tumepata mvua mazao iko sawa. Uga imeteremuka from 230 sasa 130, 140, 135. We are making progress. And it is you the people of Bomet, the people of Kirichu, the Kipsigis community. This is your government. It cannot be ikitubiwa mawe mtakuwa pale. Na mujue na mimi I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart. Mimi ndio nakaa na President William Ruto. In my life I'm 58 years. I've never seen such a hard working man. Huyu jamaa saa kumi ako ofisi 4 a.m. in the morning. Kila siku anaenda mpaka saa tano. And I can tell you tumeanza kuona things are getting better. Things were very bad. Kama hii Kenya ingepatiwa mtu wa juu nini anafanya saa hii tungekuwa tumepigiwa auction. Lakini mambo imeanza kurudi laini pole 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 na iko sawa. So me I'll come tupange maendeleo hapa. Mnataka nikuje tupange maendeleo? Na mambo si mbaya. Don't worry. Things are okay. And uh, unajua unajua ukipata kampuni umenunua kampuni imefilisika. Lazima kwanza uirudishe kwa laini you want to kupata a dividends and things are working and that is why i want to ask our leaders hapa tafadhali let us focus senator nande unasema ati nisijali watu wakinipigia kelele sasa mimi kelele inaweza kufanya mimi ni lose focus kweli i am a leader i am a man who focuses on one thing at a time one thing at a time mimi sikuwaki na mambo mbili Between 2018 and 2022 I was focused on making sure that William Ruto becomes the president of Kenya. Na nikalenga hapo na siku toka hapo. Wananishika Friday wakidiwachilia mali narudi hapo. Wanafugia pesa yangu wakifikiria nitafilisika narudi hapo. Magazeti wakanipigia kelele wakaduweka karikacha nini nini wakaniita majina social media mi narudi hapo. Mimi kama ningekuwa ni mtu ya kusikiza kelele ningekuwa nimetoroka kitambo. Hao watu walikuwa wamenipigia kelele siku tulikuwa tunaenda debate na Malaka Road. Unajua mimi najamaza tu najifanya mchinga. Oh hii mtu hawezi, oh atanyoroshwa nini. Kufika pale nimenyorosha mama the next time nilimusikia alikuwa kwao kishogo. Because we are focused. And let me say for the avoidance of doubt. I have only one focus as regards Gashagwa deputy president and no other i am focused in only one thing assisting president william ruto to succeed and nothing else hii ingine wengine wanafuata mambo ingine i'm not there mimi niko hapo hata mkipiga kelele gadi mnajaribu to demoralize me juzi wanaenda wanapanga wanatoa pesa kuna watu wanaitwa info truck ati waseme deputy president amepewa e ati dio ni kuvero mimi mimi ni chuba ya zamani niko pale hata wakijaribu nini unajua watu wanaslete maneno ati wanitoe kwa hiyo kazi ati dio nianze kujibishana na watu ati nianze kutafuta ati wabunge ati kuwaita kujeni munisaidi ni mimi am focused and i cannot lose focus And in this administration I have no other agenda. My agenda is only one and none and no other to make sure that I assist President William Ruto succeed in the economic transformation of this republic. Na mimi siwezi toka hapo. Those who wale those who want to succeed the President William Ruto mwendele. Sisi we want him to succeed. Those who want to succeed him mutukubalie we allow him to succeed then you can succeed him. Si kwa namna hiyo. So we must allow him to succeed. Na mimi nauliza sasa nyinyi vijana. William Ruto amechaguliwa juzi. Mwaka moja. He has nine years to go. You are talking about succeeding him. 
Mnataka kurithi muzee mnataka kukawa muzee akiwa hai Surely you people what is what is, you young people what is the problem President has just been elected Sidi mwaka moja At watu naanza kusema ati ni mimi ati huyu ndiye atasucceed yet 2032 Kwanza it is disrespectful to the president Hiyo ni kukosa heshima kwa kiongozi sasa kiongozi amechaguliwa tu just last year ako hapa ndio ana settle down kupanga panga kazi wewe unaanza kusema ati mimi in 9 years in Tarithi yadani anakuambia utakuwa uhai how do you know Nine years a very long time number two, it is also very being very insensitive to the people of Kenya the people of Kenya today do not want to hear about positions and elections wanataka kusikia barabara itatengenezwa siku gani stima itaunganishwa lini si ndio tutapata maji lini that is the conversation i want to ask our leaders please especially in kenya kwanza please let's focus to msaidi a president a succeed and if you have ambition and you want to succeed him, which is okay and it is fair and there's no problem simungoje kwanza achaguliwe tena 2027 then akichachaguliwa muanze kupanga vile mnaweza ridhi ye but for now surely is being very rude to the people of Kenya is being very insensitive to the people of Kenya to talk about succession let us talk about service delivery hiyo ndio kitu ya maana saa hii tumekubalia na watu ya Bomet ama nyinyi mnataka watu waongee mambo ya 2032 that is a topic that is uh, uh, should never be anywhere in any discussion let us focus to msaidie rais afaulu mambo ya huko mbele wale mnataka kupanga muende mupange huko but for now mawaziri na mimi mps let us all focus on assisting the president to succeed because he must succeed in the transformation of our economy and the transformation of the people of kenya kwa hivyo nyinyi watu wa magazeti nyinyi muendelee kuandika. Tanimeambiwa juu nafikiri wiki hii maedi tazwen wamesanywa pahali ati mupange the way you can create a debate to distract us from service delivery. You are wasting your time. Sisi tumelenga pale. Na hakuna mtu anaweza kutoa hapo. Sisi tutakaa hapo na tunajua what we are doing. And we are not just doing it because it's the right thing. Yes it's the right thing but it's also a constitutional duty for me. Niliapa pale kasarani kumsaidia rais afanye kazi yake. So sisi tutakaa hapo na hiyo ndio kazi ambaye itatusaidia. Kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka nisemwe watu ya Bomet asanteni sana. Hao mawaziri wetu they are good people tutakaget it chini. Hii maneno ya stima huyu Davis mlikuwa mnampigia kelele pale Sotik. He's a very hard working cabinet minister. Na amepanga mambo mzuri. So please siku ingine hapana let us not go that route lakini tutakuwa na yeye hapa tutakuwa na hao mawaziri will stay here na kazi hiyo yote tutampanga mpaka ingie kwa laini vile ambaye inatakikana Brighton amesema i think kuna maduka imechomeka ni wapi huko ni wapi pale so nikutafutie kitu upeleke huko okay takutafutia milioni moja uende usaidie hiyo watu so that uh, They, they are able to, to make good progress. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme asante huyu senator Sigei. Is a very focused young leader. Na alitusaidia sana wakati ya formation ya UDA. Na tunasaidiana na yeye sana mambo ya chai. Unajua ile bill Aaron Cheriot alilete kuna wale wakora walienda kotini wakapinga. And we are working together around it. And you know the people of Bomet the tea reforms we have started at least mmehoja kitu kidogo at least bonus imeanza ku improve na bado tunaendelea kuka sana mambo ya maziwa huyu mzee amelala hapa alikuwa KCC mnajua hapo mbeleni saa ile serikali haikuwa na shughulika wakati ya mvua kukiwa na glut maziwa ilikuwa na teremuka mpaka 20 shillings 25 saa hii tumeweka pesa ya serikali 900 million at least maziwa kwa KCC new KCC is 45 shillings na rais ametoa amri from 1st of march itarudi shilingi 50 kwa lita ya maziwa 
na tunataka kuendelea na reforms na hapo mbele kwa ile mpango tuko nayo tunataka tusukume hii maziwa from 50 mpaka shilingi 60 kwa lita moja ya maziwa na hiyo maneno itaendelea mambo ya kahawa tumeendelea and we are making progress as we speak now the auction inaendelea vizuri bei imeanza kuwa sawa sawa tumetoa 4 billion shillings ya kupeana cherry advance at 8 shillings those reforms have started yielding fruits na kwa hivyo as we proceed on mtaanza kuona mambo ikiendelea kuwa mzuri na hapo mbele mambo itakuwa sawa kwa hivyo watu ya bomet tumekuja kusema pole let me read the condolence message of the president so that we can allow the church to go and rest this great man condolence message from his excellency dr williams samuel ruto president of the republic of kenya and commander in chief of kenya defense forces to the family and friends of mze philip kipsigay tonui langat we have lost a respected and visionary leader who worked for the greater good of our community and country. Mzee Philip Kipsigay Tonui Langat was hardworking and progressive. Senator Sigay, receive my sincere condolences to you, your family, and the people of Bomet. Mzee was friendly, yet a firm figure who was results oriented a lover of education, and prayerful. Mze Langat was a distinguished businessman. He will be remembered for the fresh ideas that uplifted many people in the community. We honor the remarkable life that he led, his achievements, and enduring legacy that he leaves with us. We pray to God that he grants the family, friends, and people of bent strength at this sad time. May we draw Comfort from the word of the Lord in Philippines, chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Signed, rest in peace, Mze Langat. Signed by the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samuel Ruto. Asante di sana. Kwa hivo, mimi ni meshukuru sana. Naomba viongozi wetu. Leader of Majority Aaron Cheriot, you are doing a good job with the Senate. Na wale wengine kwa bunge, muendele kuunga mijadara ya serikali mkono, tuendele supporting our legislative agenda in Parliament. And the few challenges that we have with the judiciary, they will be addressed. You see, they challenge the president to provide evidence of corruption in the judiciary. And I have said I will lead by example this coming Thursday. Iko Judge Moja. Tuko na evidence ya kutosha, tutapeleka pale. Ndiyo tuwanzie na huyo, alafu wengine wafuate. Najua ni kifungua hiyo laini, najua wa Kenya watafuata. So that uh, we also do the right thing. And everybody must be held accountable. The president and the executive are accountable to parliament and to the people of Kenya. Parliament is accountable to wananchi. Judiciary must also be accountable to the people of Kenya. Na lazima wataulizo maswali. Because hao si mungu. Where they are falling short, they will be told. And they should not complain. Hata watu ya magaziti, where they fall short, we also tell them. Sisi tukikosea, mutuambie. Na hatu lalamiki mkitukosoa. Hata hawa, when they do the wrong things, we will also tell them. That is a new Kenya. It's a country of accountability. Everybody must be accountable. Hakuna mtu atakaa peke yake kusema ati yeye anajua kila kitu hata hawa tutawakosoa and they must be prepared and they must eh, acclimatize to being held accountable by the people of Kenya through the representatives of the people hawa watu hawa viongozi wamechaguliwa na wataulisa maswali na kwa hivyo mahakama pia mkifanya ile wa Kenya wanaona si sawa mtaambiwa ndio mrekebishe na msilalamike mkiulizwa Murekebishe, hata sisi mkituliza atulalamiki, pahali tumekosea, tutarekebisha. Pahali tutujakosea, tutaeleza, na hiyo itakuwa njia nzuri ya kukaa. Kwa hivyo, asante sana, may God bless you and bless you abundantly. Asante sana.